Yo, what's going on, homies and homies? Look, man, health is wealth. The reason I'm saying that is because I've been sick as a dog for the last week. All right, I'm not. The, you can probably still hear my voice too. Seems like I'm hitting puberty right now. <laughs> I'm not the one to get sick all the time. My natural immunity is up to par, pretty decent above the normal American with their high sugar and uh, high carb diet. But whenever I do get sick, that motherfucker kick me in my goddamn ass, man. It's like when you break a leg or you injure your back and you're not able to use that part of your body real well or at all. <laughs> and it makes you appreciate that part of the body like, damn, you know, I never knew how important my back was. It makes you appreciate shit that, that you take for granted sometimes. So that's why I'm starting this video off with health as well. Uh, five most disturbing uh, YouTube rabbit holes. What's this channel? I forgot the channel. The channel is Chilling Scares. Uh, link is in the description down there. So is the video down there. Let's get to the shit, man. Anuncio Inteligente. Back in 2019, a user named Raul made a disturbing post that would Raul. be shared over 20,000 times and received tens of thousands of likes and reactions. Okay. The post was originally made in Spanish, so you'll have to bear with me if the translation isn't perfect, but hopefully you'll get the main idea. The post was titled Anuncio Inteligente, which translates from Spanish to smart ad, and it read, Something super strange just happened to me. Uh -huh. I was watching YouTube videos on my smart TV when suddenly an ad appeared, as usually happens on YouTube. I was about to skip it when I suddenly saw this ad lasted more than five hours. I was really surprised and told my dad to come so he could see how long it lasted. I took a picture while I waited for my dad to arrive. The girl in the ad kept on talking, and when my dad arrived, she turned her gaze toward him. Even my dad jokingly said that she was watching him. What the my fuck? My dad and I stood in front of the TV. The girl fell silent, and we felt like she was looking at both of us. We kept thinking it was impossible for her to see us. It wasn't a video call or anything like that. It was just a simple YouTube ad. It was simply impossible for her to see us. We laughed at how silly it all sounded. The girl kept on talking, but suddenly she got closer to the screen and we started to feel a bit scared and uncomfortable. My dad wanted to test if she was watching us, so he said the word Changa a few times, and that's when the unthinkable happened. The Asian girl said Changa. At that moment, we got scared and I looked for the remote to skip the ad. My dad and I decided that we were very tired. It had been a long and tiring day, but we still couldn't ignore what had happened. The, the ad time was 5 minutes and 47 seconds. Or five, wait. Five, five hours and 47 seconds. Did you, how long did you watch this ad for before you were like, yeah, let me turn this off? Because I know when them YouTube ads hit, it, three, two, one, skip, bitch. I, we not watching no ads, man. What, why would, he was, I don't, I don't know, bro. It happened, so we turned off the TV. My questions are, what the heck just happened? Do TVs have cameras? If so, then I think it's possible for them to watch you. And lastly, was YouTube hacked? This incident scared both my dad and me. If anyone has gone through something like this, I'd like to hear your story. Oh, this here come all the other stories. Although the original post has since been deleted, it's been reposted a few times by Mexican broadcasting networks on Facebook, which has allowed a few YouTubers and Redditors to keep the story alive for five years as of the uploading of this video. From the moment it was uploaded, the post received pretty much every kind of reaction you can imagine. From those who called Raul out for lying on the internet to get attention. <laughs> this story sounds stupid, but it's actually happened to a friend of mine. She wasn't the person who posted the original video. <laughs> she was trying to watch some show and instead some three hour Zoom call said she might have been in Russian. Came on instead. <laughs> She said the woman also looked similar, but didn't do anything that made her think the woman was watching her. There's also other photos online of this happening to people, not just the, with the girl, but with older men, too. I'll ask my friend if the woman in that pic looks similar to the one she saw. Don't ask why I read it in that voice. That's just the first thing that popped in my head. Attention to those who claimed they had been through something similar and everything in between. As for whether the post was real or not, five years after the original upload, it's still anyone's guess. I mean, it's not uncommon for people to place two to three hour long ads on YouTube. As for how effective these ads are at converting viewers into buyers, I can't really say, but the fact remains that it's technically possible Raul really did see a five hour long YouTube ad back in 2019. I mean, it is possible. It is 100% it is possible. Um, I have seen an hour long ad 
It was from this little white chick who was vlogging or some shit about her about her day. But yeah, just skip them bitches real quick, man. Y'all don't watch that. One thing that many Reddit users were quick to point out, however, is that YouTube ads need to be uploaded in a specific format to be accepted and rolled out by the platform. And it goes without saying that a five hour long live call where the creator of the ad spies on the viewer and interacts with them would violate pretty much every single law and regulation out there. Still, that in itself is probably not enough information to officially label Raul's post as fake, as he was apparently Skipped not out. the only person who complained about this kind of thing happening to him that year. Through my research, I found several Redditors who pointed out that they had seen similar posts by other users on Reddit crop up sporadically in 2019, where people claimed they had been shown an unusually long ad that appeared to interact with them in real time. If the allegations are true, it Niggas out here lying. No, damn what I said, I ain't half of it down. I just want some clout and want to want to be in on the team. Want some likes too. I'm lonely. Need to be a part of something. <laughs> hey, it is. It's possible that what happened to Raul could have been a part of a massive hacking epidemic targeting smart TVs rather than YouTube itself, which the hacking of smart TVs isn't that uncommon. True. It's actually not that hard for a hacker to gain access to your smart TV's microphone and camera through certain malware, it's which really is why not. if you look deep enough online, you'll find literally hundreds of complaints by users who claimed they were spying on. Speak, speaking of hacking, if you look up this guy, bro, the amount of shit people can do, go watch any one of his videos and it will blow your mind. More specifically, watch this interview with him. Shout out Sean Ryan Show. He has amazing guests on. Disturbingly, some users have even mentioned that hackers have blackmailed them through their smart TV, threatening to expose private footage of them to the world if they don't comply with their demands. But coming back to this smart ad story, this also doesn't necessarily mean that the post was real, and to this day, hundreds of Redditors have assumed that Raul was probably just straight up lying for clicks and attention. Unfortunately, True. because the post and so many of the original comments have been deleted, we'll likely never know. Do what? Do what? Portishead is a trip hop band from Bristol, UK that was formed back in the 90s. Some of their music videos on YouTube have gone pretty viral, with one of them even getting close to 40 million views since it was uploaded in 2016. But over the years, there's been one particular music video that's become the subject of a ton of speculation and drama on YouTube and Reddit, and probably not for the reasons you might think. The music video in question is for the song titled Only You, and at first glance, there's nothing too different than what you'd probably expect from a band of this genre. Mm -hmm. But if you scroll down far enough into the comments section, you'll find something a little strange. A user named Do What made thousands upon thousands of comments on this single video over several months starting in December 2018. Sometimes Do What would comment hundreds of times in a single day. Bro. What immediately comes off as weird is that. Get a life, Do What. And most of the user's comments appear to be random, angry rants directed toward a particular person or group of people. Sometimes it even looks like he's having a long- Bullshit, you don't deserve either one, but I do. There aren't really any of either out there. Imagine that. What? Are you- You talking to yourself, bro? Long, drawn-out conversation with himself through a <coughs> YouTube comment section. I can't include some of the comments because they get pretty explicit, but you can probably get the idea just by looking at a few of them. One of them reads, Heaven, yeah sure, and yet you still left me here. Well, you won't be going back and I sure as hell won't take you there. Another Bars. one reads, Nothing you say or have said means a damn thing when you spoiled evil demons live the way you do, period. Period. At first, none of the comments seemed to make any sense, but after reading a lot of them, I realized there was a pattern. I wonder if you could screenshot all of them and like put them in order and see if they actually make sense. Although a lot of the angry rants are pretty vague, and a lot of them do what appears to be directing his or her anger toward the band in the music video itself, often claiming that the whole idea behind the songs and videos that made the band rich were stolen from Do What, who allegedly ended up getting no credit at all. Again, I can't include those due to the language, but some have suggested that this is the main reason why the user chose this particular video to dump thousands and thousands of angry comments on. As you can probably guess, a lot of people have tried to interact with Duan over the years, leading to some pretty disturbing conversations in which the commenter claims he's some sort of interdimensional being with the ability to speak to people on different timelines or something like that. Wh what? what? How? I want to I I know how people's minds work.
How how did how you how you come up with that? How you what? Like that. Even though most of his comments are pretty difficult to understand, in a few of them, Duan has repeatedly claimed to be a female living in a homeless shelter and to be receiving messages from some sort of godlike creature who is guiding her to save humanity from destruction or something. Due to how often do what was posting back in 2018 and 2019, many people have suggested that the only way it's possible for so many comments to be coming from a single account is if do what was a bot. Now you have 603 subscribers and you just comment on shit. And I got less than 300. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this video. I'm going to say do what after your ass. But others have claimed that because Duan has edited their comments, the bot theory might not be the answer. As hard as it is to believe, everything seems to point to the fact that every single one of these comments was written individually by a real person, which has made a lot of people suggest that the user might be suffering from a pretty severe mental illness, or That's what I was simply looking for attention online and willing to go- Would you- wait, would you shut up with that sweet psycho song? Wigging out in a psychotic rage over things that need to be wigged out, need to be wigged, this not, wait, this is not a psycho make. And kissing is not a synonym for carnal sexuality. The both are pretty dope. Kissing boo, price, your mortal soul. <laughs> what? Go to extreme lengths to get it. But for why, we don't know. Other people have speculated that the whole do-what mess was perhaps the band Portis Head's attempt to bring more attention to their music video through an alternate reality game or ARG. But because do-what started posting comments on the video more than three years after it was uploaded, this is pretty unlikely. If this was an ARG, then it's brilliant because obviously it did its job. After posting threads upon threads of aggressive, rambling comments, Duwat's original account was taken down a few months later, but the comments section on Portis Head's video it didn't get any less strange after that. Shortly after Duwat went quiet, other accounts started cropping up and posting a ton of angry comments in the same tone and style as Duwat. But because most of them only posted 20 to 30 times in total, whereas Duwat usually posted a few dozen times a day, it's likely that these new accounts were just copycats trying to get attention. A couple of the newer accounts though, namely Tracy-PV5CL and Whatever 5413 are suspected to belong to the original Do What. Still, after so many years and so many comments, it's unlikely we'll find a solid answer to what the purpose of all this is. Nobody... Nobody tried to... Trace the IP address? Could do it that way. Find out for damn quick. Sad Satan. In 2015, a channel by the name of Obscure Horror Corner uploaded a series of videos featuring damn, a they views. horror game called Sad Satan that up until that point was never heard of before. The game itself is very strange, with a first person character walking down dark, narrow hallways while some distorted audio plays in the background. Yeah, that's wild. At random points throughout the game, the player's screen gets invaded by random images, and overall it's a pretty dark and hard to understand game. In the months following the original uploads, the videos started gaining quite a bit of popularity, until eventually the blog and gaming reviews website Kotaku decided to interview the owner of the Obscure Horror Corner channel. In the interview, the channel owner mentioned that he first came across the game when an anonymous user provided him with a How do you have 100,000 subs and 100 videos? What the fuck? Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense with all the views he was getting, but goddamn. Download link, which had allegedly come from the dark web. Shortly after, the owner of the Obscure Horror Corner's YouTube channel provided the download link to the Sad Satan game in a Reddit thread. However, several Redditors immediately called him out for providing a fake link, after which he claimed he gave away a fake link because he didn't want to be responsible for the real game being played by anyone, as it supposedly contained some very violent, dark, illegal, and disturbing images. Why would you post a link anyway, bro? That don't that logically don't make sense. While this was all happening, an anonymous 4chan user claiming to be the guy who gave the original Sad Satan link to Obscure Horror Corner revealed what he claimed was the original download link on the post. Disturbingly, this version of the game was stuffed with illegal, graphic content, gruesome gore, and viruses that allegedly made people's computers behave oddly and eventually crash permanently. 
Unfortunately, many users fell into the trap and apparently messed up their computers beyond repair. After the two links were spread everywhere online, a lot of people were left wondering where the footage from Obscure Horror Corner's channel had even come from in the first place. The most widely accepted theory nowadays is that Obscure Horror Corner probably made the game himself to bring more attention to his channel, and that the 4chan user made a corrupted copy to distribute illegal graphic material and mess up people's computers for no reason. It goes without saying that the illegal images the 4chan user included in the corrupted version of the game could have easily come from the dark web, as they would quickly get taken down if they were posted anywhere on the surface web. If you're going to go searching around the internet for more- Not, 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 not necessarily. If you, <clears throat> if you understood Twitter in the early days, and world star hip hop in the early days, there was uh, not much that was a no fly zone. If you understand what I'm saying, you catch my drift. If you feel, if you could pick up what I'm putting down. More information on this rabbit hole, all I can say is whatever you do, do not click on any download links on random online forums. Intel said 708, February 15, 1996. Satellite? Back in the 90s, an American company named Space Systems Loral built a state of the art telecommunications satellite named Intelsat 708, which contains some pretty sophisticated and sensitive communications and encryption technology. After it was built, the satellite was transported to China to be launched in 1996. During the launch preparations, it was agreed between the US and Chinese governments that Intelsat 708 would be launched into orbit from the Zichang Satellite Launch Center using China's Long March 3B launch vehicle, which was one of the world's most powerful rockets back then. Yeah, it was also agreed that the launch would be broadcast live in the US. Just a little before 3 a.m. on February 15, 1996, the satellite was launched. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> and what happened next was nothing short of a tragedy. It blew Just two up. seconds after the launch, the satellite started veering horizontally, taking oh, a completely different trajectory than it was supposed to. Bruh. A few seconds later, the rocket crashed in a residential area where many of the launch center's employees and other civilians lived. Shockingly, the crash caused an explosion that was reported to be equivalent to around 50 tons of TNT. Immediately, the Chinese military Conspiracy? and members of the Loral security team. Who died? Who died in those houses? Was it anybody important? Because if it was anybody important, it was intentional. And that satellite was never meant to go to space. They were deployed to the crash site, and this is where things started to get a little weird. According to eyewitnesses, the Chinese military roped off the area immediately and didn't allow any Americans to approach the site until much later. I mean, okay. In the aftermath of the crash, official figures in Chinese newspapers allege that despite the massive explosion, only six people had died and 57 had been wounded, claiming that the death toll had been pretty limited because most of the people had been evacuated from the area before the launch. Okay. Still, based on the sheer amount of destruction, this death toll has always seemed unlikely to the U.S. government, which suspected the Chinese military of cleaning up the crash site to hide the true death toll and to recover the satellite's sensitive encryption and communication. They covered up a massacre. Guarantee you it was hundreds of people that got killed. They were trying to save their asses because that's what China does. You know, China has um, pyramids that they discovered and that were uncovered, but they didn't want anybody else to know, so they covered them back up. Google it. Technology. After American members of the Loral security team were finally allowed to comb the crash site, many of them returned home complaining of bulging eyes and splitting headaches caused by the toxic fumes released by the explosion. Bulging Despite eyes. Despite the large-scale impact of these events, it's one of the lesser-known tragedies, likely due to the massive cover-up by the Chinese government. Told one of you. the only recordings left of it was uploaded to YouTube by a user named Fred V and has received only around 170,000 views since 2019. In the video, you can see the crazy amount of destruction caused by the crash in the village of Malin, with both American and Chinese voices narrating the damage. Strangely, at the end of the footage, the entire video takes a weird turn where you can see a clip of a woman who says her name is Janet Ship, and that in order to help her viewers prepare for their trip to China, she's going to ask a few simple multiple choice questions. What? Hello, my name is Janet Ship, and in hey, order Janet. to prepare you for your trip to China, we would like you to take this simple multiple choice quiz. Okay, let's Remember, do it. There is only one correct answer for each question. Got it. Ready? Here we go. Let's go. This is a picture of A, a creature found a monkey. nearby hills. B, dinner. C, a huge technician. 
What? These dogs uh, should score a point in horseshoes, A, in 30 to 40 minutes, B, when Mabu High is ready. I search when Mabu High is ready to launch. It's pretty deep. The next leap year. What are these questions and answers, bro? But there doesn't seem to be any explanation online for the quiz at the end of the crash video. It's all just a really weird combination of clips. I mean, it's pretty jarring to have such a shocking video end with a woman asking weird questions with happy music in the background. Please pass the testicles. So, uh, hello? Janet Ship. Miss Ship, what are we doing? What are we doing? What's going on? And your guess is as good as mine as to what the last part of this video is even about. Unfortunately, the comments were turned off for this video, and not a of lot course. of people know about it in the first place. So who knows if we'll ever find out why the video ends like that. 00390 00390 is an extremely strange YouTube channel that's been up since 2015. Even the description in the channel's about section is a little unusual. Do the not subscribe. It's written in both English and Italian, and it reads, Do not subscribe, you bother me. Do not offer me money for affiliation or visualization or other. I am not interested. At best, offer me some typical food of your country. What? Below this text, there's another phrase that translates roughly from Italian to I like cold girls, but alive. Despite the owner's efforts to scare away subscribers, hey, 00390 has over 50,000 subs as of 2024. And that number is probably only going to keep growing if he continues to upload disturbing, attention-grabbing content as he has up until now. The videos on the channel range from strange experimental art videos to first-person footage of a cameraman following woman on the street to disturbing images of women being held hostages while creepy audio plays in the background to gross cooking videos. Due to the gross creepy cooking nature videos? of so many of the uploaders' videos, many viewers have come together online to try to find an explanation for the channel, which has resulted in some pretty wild theories being spread all over the internet. According to one of the most... All these goddamn hackers. Hacking goddamn social security place, hacking fucking the FBI. Hey, y'all can't find these motherfuckers. Y'all, uh, some of y'all out there who's in cybersecurity and are ethical hackers can find these people pretty easily. Most popular ones, the channel's owner is a suspected serial kidnapper who drives around the street looking for potential victims, which would explain why there are dozens of videos on the channel where he appears to record women on the streets against their will, with some of them looking visibly frightened at the guy. Based on what I found, there isn't really a solid conclusion for the channel's meaning. It's possible that this is just the product of an artist expressing himself with some sort of ARG attempt, or that there's really something more disturbing going on. Whatever the case, if the guy isn't a kidnapper, he's not exactly helping his case by uploading videos like the ones he has up until now. Before we go, well, would you look at what we found? Fucking A. My conspiracy brain is, is, is on 10 right now. What was going on in the city before this happened? Some people can say, uh, it, it, you know, accidents happen. Um, something on launch was a mistake. Something went wrong, and it was a genuine, um, unfortunate accident, right? But when you dig into the Titanic sinking, you come to realize that there were very powerful people on the Titanic who were in beef with each other. And right before the Titanic sailed, one of those guys decided that he was sick and decided not to go on the trip 
to the Americas. And his company solely took off after everybody else had died on the, on the Titanic and their company went to the wayside. All I'm saying is it's very suspicious. Something of this nature happens and then a cover-up happens. Either it was truly um, one of those things where a ton of people got murdered and China was trying to cover their asses for X, Y, Z reasons. Or something was happening in this city, a small little town, and something wouldn't budge. And whatever powers govern this area needed them to budge. So this happens. And it forces them to budge. But, but Josh, why would they do that? Why would they spend millions of millions of dollars to just wreck a satellite and do all this, this research and work and, and, and do all this lying? And I, I, uh, I wish I could be as naive as some people in this world who just wholeheartedly believe everything full out. You see the story in the headlines. That's the truth. They never lie to us. Why would they? There's no agenda. There's no propaganda. I know the reason they came after Bill Cosby is because his land sits on an oil deposit and he didn't want to sell it. Google that. You know why they killed Prince? Because he didn't want to give up his, cat his, 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 his catalog. I couldn't think of the word. They killed Prince because he didn't want to give up the catalog. They killed Michael because he didn't want to give up the Beatles catalog. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm, you know, I just follow patterns. It's kind of suspicious this happens and then the cover-up happens. When a cover-up happens, there's smoke. And when there's smoke, there's fire. We're not going through this bullshit again. Look, if you want to go through this whole video yourself, the link is in the description. Um, go check it out for yourself, man. We already did these dumbass questions, these dumbass answers. It, I, it, it made no damn sense. It's just, it's, it's just very, very suspicious. Interesting. My ears perk up like a dog when he hears some ruffling of a chips bag that a cover-up happens when, when a satellite goes down. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, health is wealth, people. Get your zinc, get your vitamins, exercise daily, water, sleep. Fuck the haters, bro. Woo side that shit. 99% of things don't matter. All right? Keep your stress levels down. Until next time, holla at your boy.